Can I tell you the truth? The spirit of Antichrist is already making war with some of you. But here's where it'll reach its height. He was granted to make war with the saints. Watch. Good preaching. Love it. <laughs> to continue for 42 months. It was granted to him to make war with the saints. Now watch. And to overcome them. Does your Bible say to overcome them? Yeah. Don't try to analyze it. What's the Bible say? That's why I think that's not the rapture church. I mean, that's why I think that's the believers that were just led to Christ here. Because they probably didn't have the knowledge or understanding of authority over the devils like we do. I hope you got some some knowledge of that you have authority over the powers of darkness. No, no. To me, it sounds like this group of saints didn't have the knowledge of deliverance, didn't have the knowledge how to cast out devils, didn't know how to say, shut up, devil, didn't know how to say, I bind you, Satan. I don't think these people knew. So that's why, that's why I, this is just, don't take a gospel. That's why I think we'll be in heaven when this happens. Yeah. Oh, y'all sound real happy about it. Y'all so, you're so happy about it. You might, we might be in heaven. I hope so. I just believe these saints didn't have the knowledge, the knowledge like we have. Because, oh, never mind, let's keep going. Hold on. Again, it was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And authority was given him, look at this, over every tribe, tongue, nation, all who dwell on the earth. Look at this, all who dwell on earth will worship him. Does your Bible say that? No. Whose names, watch, whose names have not been written in the book of life. Of the land slain from the foundation of the world. How many do you know that your names are written in the Lamb's book? Of, you better know. Yeah. You better know your name is written there. Yeah. Now, watch verse 9. Here we go. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. If you need a spiritual ear, there's no other time in church history that you need a, a, a hearing ear. To hear, to hear God good. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. Now watch. He who leads him to captivity shall go into captivity. In other words, some people are going to be thrown into prison and jail. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. We all know what that means. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. What saints? I don't know. Then I saw, oh, this is a sick part right here. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. This is the false prophet that's going to be raised by Satan who has the knowledge of the devil, but also is going to be churchy like. He's going to draw all religions together. And they're going to have, he's going to have him worship the beast. Now watch. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence and causes the earth. Now watch. Causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast whose deadly who was healed. You have in development an evil trinity. Like we know the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. What do you have here? The devil, the Antichrist, and the false prophet. Yes. Evil trinity. Look, he performs great signs. 
Let me tell you. God can perform miracles. But I don't base a man's foundational character on miracles, signs, or wonders. Right. You understand? Yes. Jesus said, you shall know them by the fruit that they show. Just because somebody can do signs, wonders, and miracles, no big deal. Yeah. I know a lot of people used by God like that. But, but I know their character. To do miracles, no big thing. You understand? Don't mm -hmm. see even Jesus say, "Hey, you, you disciples, follow me because I can feed you." Don't don't follow Jesus because of that. Don't follow Jesus because of miracles. We want to see miracles. In the next series of lessons, I'm going to give you. I'm going to talk about the supernatural power of God that you're going to have to have. Can you say Amen? Amen. amen. No, no. You you are going to have to. You are going to have to walk in the supernatural power of God. You're not going to be able to depend on people. You're not going to be able to say, well, I'm going to wait for Charlene one more year and she lay hands on me. Well, I'm going to have Pastor Pete lay hands on me. No, you're going to have to know how to draw the power of God for yourself. Amen. For yourself. Amen. Give God praise. Amen. Come on, give God praise. Amen. You know, it's good that we can pray for you and that God can do something for you. But you have to receive the power of God for yourselves. Amen. Amen. Jesus said you could. How I many you have the Holy Ghost? Amen. You know, you have the Holy Ghost, but you've got to go to another level. you got to go another level with him. You know, just, you, you think you got it all because you pray in tongues? You ain't got it all. Amen. Man, I, I know people pray in tongues and can't even love each other. And you want to see miracles. No, it's another level. When we get into those lessons, I'm going to talk about walking in the supernatural power of God in this last day. We're going to need it. Can you amen. say amen? Yeah. Amen. We're going to need it. Yes. Watch, he says this. He performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Look at this. And he deceives. Everybody say deceives. Deceives. He deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which... He was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make, now watch this, to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. To make an image. And ladies and gentlemen, I introduce AI. Yes. AI right here. Right here is AI will be in the form of a statue or whatever, and that thing will be put into the temple that is going to be rebuilt, and people are going to be called to worship that thing or they're going to get killed. That's why I'm telling you with a fervent heart, pray for Israel because it's all going to be in Israel. You have to pray for Israel. I feel for those people. Because they're the ones are going to see that thing put in the holy temple of God that is going to be built. Listen, uh, for a minute, just shut it off, please. Listen. Again, he was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast. And that image of the beast should both, look at, both speak and cause many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. How many of y'all use uh, Siri or whatever that stupid thing on the phone? What? What's that thing called? Oh, Siri or sorry or sorry? Sorry. Yeah, sorry, all right. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, you, what, what's it called? Siri. Siri. That's what it's going to be like. Your stupid phone is talking to you. Think about a, 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 a seven foot statue talking to you like that. Think about it. Pastor beat us all. Cool technology. Man, I, I come from the days we didn't have cell phones. Right. You understand? This technology, look at it. It's falling into the wrong hands. It's good, but it's not good. So you all, you, you, you got you to gotta pay attention. Pay attention. God's people are so just just like sheep. 
wandering about, their heads in the cloud, not paying attention. Pay attention, Chris. Pay attention. Charlene, warn them wherever you go, sis. Make it part of your message. Warn them. This is coming. Watch the unification of churches. Not all unification is of God. That's right. That's right. Not all unification. All we need is unity. Wow. Come on. Almost done. You know, some of you don't know the battle that I went through to do this. I know the devil don't want you people to hear none of this. You want to keep you asleep, not to know any of this. But you need to know. Jesus said you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Amen. Amen. Watch what he says. Amen. He calls us many would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Killed. All right? You don't want to worship that beast? Lay your head down. They're going to kill you. You mean they're going to kill us if we don't worship that thing? Yep. Yes. The Bible says so. I believe every word of the Bible. You're going to die for that. Now, here we go. Almost done. He causes all. Look at this. He causes all the beast, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on the right hand, on the right hand, or on their forehead. Man, you know who I start feeling really concerned about? All the guys in prison. They ain't going to stand a chance. They're either going to take that mark. It's going to be the, uh, it's going to be a demand for you to take the mark. Yep. That's why I don't know if we're going to be here. I hope not. Because if we're here as a church like right now, this will be the biggest test that you will ever go through. Amen. Right. You either get the mark or you will not be able to go to McDonald's, to the movies, to the grocery store, or nowhere. Yep. It'll be the biggest test. Biggest test for a believer. You won't be able to get your paycheck. You won't be able to get nothing. It's the biggest test that a believer would have to go through. Think about that, Charlene. Wouldn't that be the biggest test for a believer? That's why I hope we're taken out of here. I, come on, somebody. You want to be taken out of here? Man, I said, I said Jesus, blow that trumpet. Blow that trumpet, Jesus. Because some of you, I don't know if you can handle that pressure, especially if you got babies. Mm -hmm. Think about it, Kelly. You can't get no formula because you ain't got no mark on your hand or your forehead. Come on, people. Look, there are other better subjects I could talk about. But this is what God wants me to talk about. Because time is running down to it. At least you'll have some knowledge of what to watch, what to prepare for. I don't, you got to have this. Amen. God wants you to be informed. Not deformed. Informed. Yeah, he says this. That no one could buy or sell. Man, you're not even going to be able to have a rummage sale. Mm -hmm. All you that want to sell tacos, you got to have a mark on your right hand. Might buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast. Oh, what about this one? What about this? You can't get your medicine no more. Right. You can't get your insulin no more. You can't get your pills no more because you don't have the mark on the right hand or the forehead. Come, Jesus, Say it again. Say it again, Leslie. Come, Jesus, call. I'm in agreement with that. You know, I, I'm telling you, God is warning us, all of us, to be ready. Just to be ready, Philippe. He's warning us. Watch what he says. 
No one may buy or sell, it, sell except the one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. His number is six. 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 Everybody say it. Six. 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 Don't be afraid to say it. Six. 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 And I, I want to end with this. I remember when the COVID hit. I played a little game. Put little things on the floor. Six feet apart, right? I said, I'm not putting the devil's number on there. I put seven. I did. I put seven foot. You help me remember those seven foot, seven foot stop signs. But prepare. Be ready. Be ready. And don't forget what Jesus said. For an hour you think not, the Son of Man comes. Don't be afraid. This is what the Lord is telling us. Just be prepared. Amen. Stand on your feet, everybody. Perfect time. 12 o'clock. Not time to go to a restaurant. And guess what? You don't need a mark. Amen. You don't need a mark. Freedom. You can go to McDonald's, man. John, Asian buffet waiting for you, John. Freedom. All right, let's pray. Take somebody's hand. I want you to say this prayer. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, Father I want to be informed, I want to be informed of, all of all things that are about ready to happen. Because I know they're getting ready to happen. Because your word says so. Because your word says so. Lord, I don't want to be caught unaware. Lord, I don't want to be caught unaware. I'm looking for Jesus Christ. I'm looking for Jesus Christ. The return of Jesus Christ. The return of Jesus Christ. I know the Antichrist is coming. I know the Antichrist is coming. But I'm, I'm excited about Jesus coming back. I'm excited about Jesus coming back. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for not giving me a spirit of fear. Not giving me a spirit of fear. But a power, power love, love, and a sound mind. And a sound mind. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for your divine protection. For your divine protection over me and my family. Over me and my family. My finances. My finances. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you that I will be prepared. I will be prepared for everything. For everything. And it is end time. For the end time. I will watch and pray. I will watch and pray. I will watch and pray. I will watch and pray that I might be counted worthy. That I might be counted worthy to escape. To escape all the things. All the things that are coming to pass. That are coming to pass on this earth, Lord. On this earth, Lord. Father, if there's something in me. Father, if there's something in that me is not right. that is not right, God, I want to get it right. God, I want to get it right. I want to be unloving. I want to be unloving. Unforgiving. unforgiving. Lord, I want to be as you are. I want to be as you are. And Father, and Father, I want to know you even greater. I want to know you even greater. Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, in Jesus' name. Lift your hands up as I pray for you. Father, I thank you for this congregation. God, I pray blessing over them. Lord, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, that the word of God will be in them. They will take the word of God to heart. They will not only be hearers of the word, but doers. Father God, let the word settle in them right now, God, before they leave. Yes. Let it settle in them, God. Yes. Let it settle in them. Yes. Yes. Now hold your hands up and just close your eyes. I want to pray this prayer. The Lord bless you keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name. Have a blessed day. Greet one another before you leave.